Hello. Hello. I haven't got the chance to see so many type of robot with different shape and you are here in this kind of terms like industrial robot, service robot, medical robot, human robot but actually like how we can classify the robots and you know, its type how we can divide the robot into so many categories Hello everyone, my name is Ayman Omar. I am a robotic uh, researcher and consultant. I'm the CEO, CEO and founder of Winroll RTS, robotic consulting company based in Tokyo, Japan. Then robots actually have appeared the first time in the 1921. It was in uh, play in the in Czech in that time. So they display those kind of uh, human that they say is the machine that obey the human orders and after that they maybe like they can do some task but the first robot that had been entered into service was in the end of uh, 1950s it was first installed in the first for the first time in 1961 in the us in the general motor factories since that time it had been installed in so many like automotive industry so that's why like the robot have been in this shape which is like an arm and mostly like uh, big. but after that they have been a different type of robot have been developed like a mobile robot have been installed like they have been a research in like using robot for medical application so because of those kind of classification they have been split into so many names so how they can be classified and how you can classify robots type Based on the intention foundation of robot, they classify robot into two categories, either like industrial robot, which is the famous one, mostly in the form of an arm that is being used for industrial application, and all the other one that not used for industrial application called service robot. So in those one we can find like those medical robot, clean robot, also logistic robot, interim robot, also we have defense robot, all those kind of categories are being classified under a service robot but if you are want to study robots in uh, robotics in university you will not find like uh, you will study something like a link and a joint and those because those kind of things so mostly those things it could be used it could be a representation for a, a robot used in industrial application and also it could be used for ro the same robot for med medical application so if you go to the industrial, so that's why like the first classification as industrial and non-industrial is being used as from the point of view of application. So based on the application, we can categorize robot as the application. So it becomes like industrial robot or service robot. Under the service robot becomes all those kind of categories of medical robot and also like a clean robot, rescue robot and terrain robot and so many, so many others. But if you if you want to classify robotics robot in terms of the theoretical point of view, it mostly have to classify into two categories. First is fixed robot. Fixed robot it have a fixed base, so all the joint are linked to one base. But if it's like the other robot that is moving, it's become a mobile robot. So either you have fixed or mobile. Of course, mostly when you study, you study fixed um, fixed robot. That's the one generally being used because it was the first robot was a fixed robot. That's why it becomes the first category is fixed robot. Under even fixed robot, we have two categories. You have serial, man serial manipulator or parallel manipulator. So mostly like serial manipulator is the one widely used, which is have like all the links. You have a link, a join, then a link, a join and so on. So until the end the factor. But in terms of uh, parallel mechanism, 
or parallel robot mostly in that case you have two links are connected together and they all end at one point this becomes a parallel mechanism so there are a lot of fixed uh, robot use the parallel mechanism when you go to the mobile robot which is have not the fixed base you'll find also there are three categories the first one of course is ground robot then you have aerial robot then you have like uh, water robot or mostly like a fluid robot so each, if each one of them it have its own like uh, theory and dynamics so when you go to the mobile robot there are actually also other categories either you have legged robot you can have a wheeled robot or track robot so each one have its own theory so all of those if you are in doing some research or you want to specialize in the robotics field You'll find each one have its own branch, it have its own theories, its own studies. But if you, of course, like if you are a beginner, mostly you will study the fixed uh, manipulator, mostly like serial manipulator. That's like the general branch that has been widely studied. Now, also because of the the rise of the mobile robot, we also have some studies about mobile robot. Mostly we focus on the wheeled robot. So like a flying robot. They also have some categories that cause like fixed wing or maybe quad rotors. So water robot either like underwater or maybe the surface. So each one have its own theory and has its own techniques. So this is how we can classify the robotics in either like based on application or based on theory. from today's talk so until I see you again thank you for watching